Report TDLI trying to make aim ENDS. As per recent reports, Prince Harry is exhausted of all the family drama and is now eager to restore relations with the British royal family. However, there are questions as to how his wife, Meghan Markle, will react to this attempted reconciliation. Greetings and a very warm welcome to you all. Ever since the infamous Megxit, and truthfully ever since Meghan and Harry became a couple, the relationship between Harry and the royals has progressively deteriorated. The troubles began even before they got married. Prince William cautioned Harry that he was rushing into things too quickly with Meghan, and that he should take more time to really get to know her first. But Harry did not want to hear that well-intentioned advice. Even though it was sound counsel, Harry thought he knew better. Of course, William was not the only family member who expressed reservations about Harry hastily marrying Meghan Markle. Prince Philip also apparently weighed in, telling Harry something to the effect of, one steps out with actresses, one does not marry them. But again, Harry stubbornly refused to listen. And now look at the mess that has unfolded. Harry's relationship with his family lies in tatters. Now let's be clear that Harry is no blameless victim in all this. But at the same time, I will always believe that Meghan is more responsible than Harry for how things have turned out. From the very beginning, it seemed Meghan wanted complete control over Harry, and his family posed a real obstacle because they had advised and cared for him for so long. They represented a genuine threat to Meghan because, you see, she needed to be the only one influencing Harry's decisions. She convinced him they didn't require those fussy royals anymore and should instead seek fame and riches in California. That is precisely what they did. But now, almost four years later, they have crashed and burned, and according to a source who spoke with Closer Magazine, Harry is prepared to make amends and come home. The insider said Harry wants to start the new year off right by focusing on reconciliation, and fortunately for him, Charles wants that too. Reports have consistently indicated that even though the king feels hurt by Harry's actions, he still desires to make peace with his son. He still loves him. He wants his son to be part of his life and to get to know his grandchildren if they genuinely exist. Now, of course, it won't be so straightforward with Prince William. Harry has a lot of fence mending to do with his older brother, and it may be too late. William may never fully forgive him, but at minimum, Harry can try to reestablish a bond with his father. The source went on to say Charles has gained wisdom with age, and if he wants anything it is for William and Harry to repair their relationship, he is urging William to be the bigger man and reach out first. It is his mission to get the brothers on good terms again. And let us not forget that Harry himself recently said, I love my mother country and I love my family and I always will. I believe those words were genuine, even though Harry's behavior over the past four years has indicated anything but love for his family and homeland. But despite everything, I think at this point Harry realizes he made a colossal mistake following Meghan to California. He knows his only true home is in the UK with his family. The reality is he is miserable with Meghan, her mother, and their hainter on Marcus Anderson. He has no real place in California. That is the plain truth. However, the first step, and you know what I am about to say, the first step is that Harry must divorce that nasty woman he married. If he cannot rid himself of Meghan, there is zero chance of him ever repairing his relationship with his father or brother, especially considering the appalling stuff said about Catherine in Spare. It will not be straightforward for William to pardon Harry or Meghan for that. And by now, the royals comprehend very clearly that it is unsafe to permit Meghan Markle into their midst. So if Harry refuses to divorce her, he has no shot at being welcomed back into the fold. But you know my perspective, I am convinced the marriage is already over in all but name. I believe they are just keeping up appearances for whatever reasons. I'm sure there are many valid justifications, and details are likely being worked out behind closed doors regarding the divorce settlement, invisible children, property division, etc. It's undoubtedly a complex matter. I anticipate that in the coming weeks or months, we'll see increasing signs that things are not blissful in Montecito and eventually we'll get the official divorce announcement. I don't know how long it will take, but dear audience, I feel it drawing nearer. All right, folks, and now for what is perhaps my favorite part of the video discussion time. 
Today we'll be talking about the insightful comments you all left under my previous video, Sussex Marriage is Over, Royals Victorious. In that video, I discussed the many indications that Meghan and Harry are through, and who might come out the winner after their split. Clearly, it won't be Meghan Markle. Now let's see what you clever viewers had to say. The first comment is from appreciation for Queen Elizabeth. Royals, you should count your lucky stars if you have no responsibilities left to attend to with Markle and Harry. When either of them attempts a return, just remember the dreadful behavior they have shown to members of the monarchy and walk away from any requests they pressed and go right ahead. And with your own positive lifestyles, you are very much valued by all members of the British society and among sensitive American citizens as well. Markle and Harry are ready to be certified as has been mentioned by a member of the nation, meaning they are incompetent. Thank you for your discerning remarks. I wholeheartedly concur, but I don't foresee the royal family allowing themselves to be exploited by Harry and Meghan ever again. They won't stand for it. Harry and Meghan tried their best and failed. So now they need to call it quits, and Harry should attempt to make amends with his family if he has any hope of a decent life after Meghan. And here is a reply from Maria Stabler. I hate what the pair of them have done to their families and their lies about their Invisikids. I hope they have a long and painful marriage, doing to each other what they dish to the world. They deserve each other. In many respects, I agree with you, Maria. But at the same time, I believe Meghan is truly the evil one in the marriage. Harry is just a complete fool. Should he be punished for his misdeeds? Absolutely. But should he be condemned to a lifetime with Meghan? I'm not sure that would be fair. Now here's an interesting discussion started by Bruce Scotland 8538. As an American, it is hard to believe the royals would welcome him back. He is a pathetic user and grifter. Thank you, Shyla, for raising this thought-provoking point. Denise says, the British don't want him back either. Yvonne Bell counters, they may take him back into the family, but he should never be allowed to be seen in public ever again. I'm inclined to agree with you most, Yvonne. Carol asserts, I highly doubt William can forgive or forget. He won't let Hasbin go back, too much damage done. You may be right, Carol, but I don't know. If Harry tries to get back in through his father, he could succeed. I think the king will be more sympathetic. Now if he waits too long until William is in charge, not a chance. Gina argues, you make a fair point, Gina. At least with the family keeping an eye on Harry, they can protect him from himself and also shield the public from dealing with him. It's been fascinating to see the divided opinions on whether Harry and Meghan are truly headed for Splitsville. Julie says, I agree and do look forward to them both living into quiet obscurity. But Trudy contends, I don't think the end is near for Harry and Meghan's relationship. I think it is already here. I'm with you, Trudy. The signs are everywhere. Kate London echoes, yeah, Kate, I'm on the same page. Most of us have just been waiting for the inevitable announcement. Still waiting, but I think it's imminent. However, Lydia Smith has a different take. Not yet. That divorce will come in the near future. She has four more years to bear this bear. She won't let go until. Those years are completed for those retirement benefits. So she won't let that go unless Harry pushes an early divorce. I'm no lawyer. The laws are strict here in California about divorces. So if those kids are real, she'll have a luxurious child support check. And if not, spousal support will be luxurious as well. Wow, she'll be known as the biggest gold digger in history and Harry will be known as the biggest sucker in history. Too bad. I always thought that a prince was smart with values. This prince proved me wrong, Mama Kaku. It's an intriguing perspective, Lydia. You could be right. Maybe Meghan is just biding her time waiting for the 10-year mark. But I still lean towards thinking Harry may be prepared to leave Meghan sooner rather than later. There's been so much chatter indicating they should not be viewed as a cohesive unit and most of it tries to cast Harry in a sympathetic light compared to Meghan. That feels purposeful to me. All right, my friends, unfortunately that's all the time we have for now. Please let me know your thoughts. Do you think there's any chance of Harry reconciling with his father and brother? Where does Meghan fit into all this? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments. 
If you enjoyed this, don't hesitate to like and share with others who may appreciate it too. And as always, click subscribe so you don't miss any updates. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Here's wishing you and your loved ones a very happy, healthy and prosperous 2024.